Welcome back to Northwestern Outdoors Radio. I'm John Cruz. As many of you know, one of my favorite places to fish in the Northwest is Potholes Reservoir in eastern Washington. And one of my favorite places to go to while I'm there is Mardon Resort. That's why we've got Mike Meesberg on the line. He's the co-owner of this resort along with his lovely wife, Marilyn. Mike, great to have you back on board. Always a pleasure, John. We're looking real forward to this spring after a bloody pile of ice until 29 March on Potholes Reservoir. One new thing we're doing is we're installing putt-putt golf for the little guys to have more fun when they come to Mardon Resort. But what really excites me is this time of year when you're talking about the fishing. Bass fishing is incredible. The weather is going to be in a position where you can be very optimistic on catching and releasing a large number of largemouth in the sand dune area, as well as smallmouth bass along the face of O'Sullivan Dam. The walleye are starting to show. We've, it's not good, but now, this time, we're going to see the walleye coming in with a lot more enthusiasm. The walleye have been showing us a lot of activity in the sand dune area, back by the Big Dune, back by Winchester Wasteway, the primary Crab Creek Channel, and up the Lynn Cooley Arm of Potholes Reservoir. There's been a number of people trolling spinners and night crawlers, as well as the Berkeley Flicker Shads in size 2 and size 5. And with this time of year, the spawn is over. And with the new management on Potholes Reservoir water level to provide additional irrigation water, the lake stays higher. So when you come this time of year, as for the last eight years, we have a complete spawn. In the old days, you'd come bass fishing one weekend, come back the next week and fish three feet of water, come back the next weekend prior to nine years ago, and everything's high and dry on the bank and all the spawn is dead. Well, with the new management by the Bureau of Reclamation, the lake will stay high until the first and some years even the second week of June. And under that predicament, all the perch, crappie, bluegill, bass, and many other species have completed the spawn. And that's the time of year that's the best to be here when there's more action, warmer water, and an opportunity to get on some very good bass fishing, very good walleye fishing, some improved crappie fishing with the underwater habitat restoration project we've been working on since 2006 on Potholes Reservoir to provide sanctuary for our fish at the lowest water in September and October. And there's, there's a number of other fish in the reservoir that people have been talking about quite a bit lately. The, uh, the bullheads are something that some families really enjoy catching them and eating bullheads. Some families just let them go, and it's just like catch release with us. We keep about four fish and go home and have a dinner. But the, the numbers of fish in the last several years, due to the water level management with higher water longer, provide sanctuary throughout the early part of the spring and the end of spring into the early summer. And then as the lake drops with irrigation taking the water down, the fish move out of the sand dune area into the main potholes reservoir where you control with spinners and crawlers for walleyes, plugs for walleyes, and a great deal of jigging for walleyes. And there's a lure that all of us have used forever for walleye called a blade bait, which can also give you a fantastic time once you learn the technique of blade baiting. And it's a, just a great lure. But ultimately, when the, when the sunshine hits... The water's warm. It's a fun place to come and relax and have a, have a wonderful time. And we also have an event on May 18th that is being put on by the Berkeley Company. It's a, a bass fishing tournament, a one-day tournament on May 18th. Everyone's welcome to join. They've registered for 175 boaters, and it's a opportunity to get into a quality bass event. It's a big bass tournament. One fish is weighed every hour. If you take a fish in and you win the weight of the hour plus $2,000 from Berkeley, you'll get a key, as in a key to a boat. Ooh. And then each hour you take your key at the end of the event, and you have an opportunity to, to put it into a ranger boat and the lucky winner will go home with a brand spanking new amazing ranger boat from the berkeley company the tournament director brian has done a fabulous job of, of helping us put this together and we're very excited about that berkeley tournament on may 18th in of this year so if you like bass if you like tournaments it's a nice place to go if you like just fishing on the bank having a good time that time of year rainbows are biting Crappies are kicking in, and you can get a lot of bass and walleyes occasionally, not all the time, but occasionally bank fishing on the shores of Potholes Reservoir, Soda Lake, Long Lake, and Crescent Lake, and the Sea Lakes also provide the same fishing opportunities as, Pothole, as Potholes Reservoir provides. All right. Well, slow down there, Mike. Slow down. 
<laughs> Let me sum this up for you, folks. Potholes Reservoir, 27,000 acre reservoir located just south of Moses Lake. And Mardon Resort has got great places to stay. We're going to tell you about that in just a second. But again, to sum up the fishing there, as you just heard, we're talking about a great bass fishery for both largemouth and smallmouth. Largies up to seven pounds, smallmouth up to six pounds. We're talking perch. We're talking crappie. We're talking bluegill. We're talking catfish. We're talking bullhead. And we're talking rainbow trout. And I know I've missed a couple of other species in there, but they're in there too. Just about anything you can catch in the freshwater, you're going to find at Mardon Resort to the south of the resort are the seep lakes. Some of those are hike-in, some of those are drive-in. Beautiful lakes surrounded by basalt cliffs, gorgeous area to fish. And each of those lakes, you know, some are managed for warm water species, others for cold water species. Again, a lot of fun to fish in the spring. Your base camp, Mardon Resort, let's talk about that. And the thing about Mardon is you're always improving. You mentioned the putt-putt golf that's coming in, but let's go ahead and give an overview of what's at the resort in terms of cabins, cottages, RVs, store, restaurant, etc. Oh, there's many different RV hookups. In the last five years, we put in big rig RV hookups for those fabulous 40 foot and longer um, RVs. Um, you can take, grandpa brings his big retirement RV over. He can have his daughter and her husband on one side and his son and her partner on the other side and that's in one one particular place and then we also have a basketball playing hoop horseshoes and all kinds of things in addition to our new thing for this year which is putt putt golf and it's, uh, there's hiking we have a large area where there's open hiking you can drive to the end of the paved road and go many miles into the sea lakes to see things that many people are totally unaware exist in this area but there's just an awful lot of lakes there's over 50 Sea lakes below O'Sullivan Dam. One of my personal highlights is Hutchinson and Shiner Lakes. They were developed with the landowner's permission to put a dike in, and then the Department of Fish and Wildlife have put bluegill, crappie, largemouth bass, and a lot of fish. And I've seen a friend of mine, he caught a nine pound, three ounce largemouth out of Hutchinson Lake on the bank one night after work. And that's not a common fish in this part of the world, but it's a fish I'll never forget. And we also see some incredible walleye from time to time. Like we've had walleye caught out of Potholes Reservoir by our good friend Carl Pruitt from Wenatchee, up to 17 pounds. And it's just a really fun place. There's also channel catfish, which has a limit of five. And we've had a man two years ago catch a channel catfish, 28 pounds, 10 ounces. And if you're from down south and you enjoy those channel catfish, there's an opportunity, especially in low water in the Lynn Cooley Arm, a potholes reservoir, especially when you get into October and September. And then when the water is shut off for irrigation, the lake climbs rapidly. And then we have a lot of duck hunting and an awful lot of goose hunting. And we have guides that can take you on a trip of a lifetime. It's really a, a, a lot of fun to do at Mardon Resort. Getting back to the resort amenities, before we go, I've got to tell you, other things you want to know about the resort. They've got the great RV spaces, but they have park cottages, camper cabins for rent. They've also got motel rooms for rent. They've got larger buildings for larger families. And there's a swim beach. There's a general store. There's the beach house, which is both a restaurant and a lounge. Perfect place to celebrate the end of the day. And don't forget the boat launch and the marina and the fishing from the marina is great. There's events going on all year long at Mardon Resort. To find out more, go to their website, mardonresort.com. Again, that's mardonresort.com. And for some reason, they are booked. Moses Lake is just a few miles away. Go to their website at moseslake360.com to find additional accommodations and restaurants and more. Mike, I got to let you go, but thanks for sharing this with us today on Northwestern Outdoors Radio. Thank you much, John.